Today, Ambassador Long Dan announced Chinese support for the North Korean claim that they did not intentionally launch the missile that sank the wall. We are monitoring these developments while continuing to seek a peaceful resolution. Make no mistake, the Chinese People's Republic will employ all means at our disposal to protect our interests in the Asian subcontinent. Our intelligence estimates that the current number of Korean troops massed at the border runs as high as 200,000 men. Monty? Montgomery Lewis, The Times. Do we know what the possible North Korean strategy will be if diplomatic efforts fail? We've known for decades that the NKA would move to capture Seoul as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost. That is how our defenses are structured. But with the capital less than 40 miles from the border, and well within artillery range of the big guns, it is clear that war would be catastrophic in terms of damage done and lives lost. Fisher. I know you think the shortest distance to solving this problem is to go after Shetland. You might be right. Unfortunately, the diplomatic situation surrounding the Walsh incident is not softening. We are less than 24 hours from open war on the Korean Peninsula. We've located the battery that launched the missile against the Walsh. If there is any credence to the North Korean claim that the launch was unintentional, we need to prove it. And fast. I've been reverse engineering the data you recovered from Zerkezi's computer in New York. Zerkezi's algorithm is an advanced extrapolation of the mass kernels made infinitely more complex by recursion through Dvorak. I think that if you can access the BIOS memory of the missile launchers at the battery, I should be able to ID a fingerprint that the algorithm would have left on the system. You'll be doing a halo insertion into a forest two clicks east of the battery. You'll enter the battery's secure perimeter and infiltrate via the main air shaft. The battery itself has been around since World War II, but intelligence and satellite imaging show it's been retrofitted several times since then. We have some limited mapping data. We don't know what you'll find. Since the destruction of the Walsh, the USS Ronald Reagan has assumed C&C duties for the battle group in the Yellow Sea. Our fleet is on red alert. In case of war, we are prepared to conduct precision sorties against high-value targets aimed at reducing North Korean coastal defenses for insertion behind their advancing front. If intelligence indicates that the Koreans are picking a fight, then it's a fight they'll get. Anyone in that battery, when the whistle blows, better find himself a tin hat and a Bible. Japanese ISDF has been instrumental in determining that the missile that sank the wars was indeed fired from this battery. You have the complete support of all branches of the Japanese Self-Defense Force in order to determine the rationale for this insane move by the Korean aggressors. We do not have the capability to strike the facility directly, but ISDF will use any means at our disposal to interfere with their capabilities in the event that our great American allies are forced to declare war. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister Channel 1, your host, and welcome back to more Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This is Battery. This is our 100% stealth walkthrough, and we're going to be doing this no knockouts. We're going to go ahead and get right into this. We're going to be using the assault loadout because I want to make it as challenging as possible. Fisher, it's starting to look like war is unavoidable. JCOS is asking all sources for current division-level intelligence. So, besides stopping World War III, is there anything else I can do for you this evening? The base commander should have up-to-date intel about NKA divisional strength down the Kaesong Moonsan approach. I'll try to schedule an appointment with his secretary. We'd like to add a few extra Fisher, challenges to the mission as well. Since everyone is asking everyone for intel, I'd love to have a few chips at the big table. What can I get you, Will? Looks like this battery has repair and maintenance capability for mechanized warfare support. Any shipping or repair logs you can recover would be a big help. I'll find what I can. You saw me slowly look, kind of look up before I left that little exit there in the vent because there is a guard that sometimes will be there. It is random. There's a lot of RNG in this level that we're going to get to once we come to those specific points. This guy, if he is there, sometimes he won't be, but if he is, uh, you can get by him just by staying to the right side of the room as much as possible, and he will not see you. Uh, but you do need to, uh, to be quick before he starts to get up. Uh, we need to complete our side objective here, which is going to be to grab these. You can do them using your binoculars. You don't actually have to go in the room, but you have to make sure you click on the right one as there are a few different ones. Good work, Fisher. 
Looks like they track shipping and repair through four separate departments. Gotta love military bureaucracy. See if you can get the logs from the other three. Now serving number 67. Don't forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can get to 300 likes on this video. It will just give me the motivation to keep going because these missions are going to start to get really, really tough and take a lot of time uh, to complete. Check out the live stream if you don't believe it. It is very, very difficult to do, especially towards the end because of the RNG. So it just ended up where the guy was over on the other side, which is perfect for us. There's a camera as well. It was looking in the opposite direction, which is why we were able to pretty easily scoot onto the right side. However, if things are different for you, wait until you get to that exact way the enemies are situated, then you should be able to get through without a, a problem. Same thing here, we're gonna use our binoculars and aim it right at a small part of the computer. Do not aim at the actual monitor. You have to aim below, as there are different ones that you can get, but only one of them will actually scan the data information that we need. Don't worry about this guy if he is here, as he will not be able to, uh, to do anything because you are still perfectly hidden. Remember, even if that meter goes up even slightly, you will be seen if someone is looking in that direction, even if it doesn't make any sense. So just keep that in mind when you're going through some of these, is you need that meter down to zero if you want to get by without being seen. All right, well, that's our work done. Let the control room take over. Who's in the control room? How should I know? So what? We're just going to leave the missile hanging there? Orders. Deliver cargo to Loring Bay at facility 27-290. Nothing in there about working a bunch of cranes that we're not trained on. Fair enough. As soon as he says fair enough, wait about two seconds and then get up and move back. Uh, you saw me have a little trouble on the ladder because sometimes you won't get the climbing animation for you to actually be able to climb. There's, which I prefer that there is no contextual climbing buttons in this. Um, there are contextual buttons, of course, uh, but not in the sense of some newer games where, like when you're trying to sneak up on someone, let's say in Hitman 3, um, the subdue button is the same button as some other things, and it can be very tough if it doesn't appear above their head. However, it's the same in this game, but I think it's a lot better. It's, it's better done in this older style game. So we're going to wait till he turns around, and then we're going to move the conveyor belt up there at the top. It's going to allow us to be able to move on to the next section. This is going to be a mission where we have to use our uh, OCP. Uh, there's really no way around it, as there is a camera here. You need to use your OCP to take it out, because the only way to get through to this section, and I looked, there is no other way to get to this other side except for this right here. You have to. So use the OCP there to get the cameras um, to kind of divert its eyes so you can sneak by. Don't stop, continue to go. There's a few moments where you won't have perfect stealth here. So you need to make sure you're you're at Ari at this point before this guy up here turns around. The next thing we're gonna do is because the guy that's sitting in the chair, he will see you in the red lights. We don't want that to happen. Remember, this is again, it's a no perceivement walkthrough unless we have created that um, reason for the perceivement, unless it's purpose. So we're gonna use uh, this diversion again. This is gonna get the guy in the chair to look in the other direction. And you also did it before the other guy walked past the camera. So he is no longer looking this way. They're both looking in the direction of the camera, which is the opposite way, which allows us to get through without worrying about being truly seen. This is scripted that every time you get about to this point, that guy's gonna come out there if you've done if once you drop down it's kind of like how these older games run uh, they only run at certain points once you get close enough to a specific area then that will start to trigger them in the mission so we're going to climb this uh, vent here the reason we're coming over here is only for one thing and that is a side objective now if you've watched my previous walkthrough on this game you'll notice that i actually took out the general you don't need to take out the general in order to complete the mission. So it's not, uh, you know, detriment to anything that you're doing here. You can still get 100% without doing it. Therefore, we are not going to do it. We're only going to grab the specific uh, secondary objective that we need. Now, once you're up here, this is going to be a script of where as soon as you go down, 
and you open this crate, a guy is going to be coming through the door. So you need to be quick so that he doesn't see the crate open. Or you can wait until you think he goes by. But you can't see him unless you go out. So that's why I think it's better to go out now. Close it quickly and then get up against here. Otherwise, he will see the crate open and you'll ruin the whole illusion of what we're doing. Which is the whole purpose of my walkthroughs, is to create the illusion of true stealth. Sorry. We have finished our preliminary inspection of the West Launcher. And what is your report, Captain? We did every test we could, sir. And? And, well, there was no malfunction, sir. One no thing you'll notice here is that the guards will be in different Curious. places depending on there if you've done a, a save or a checkpoint. Um, it will always change. It will never be Good the same. Work, Sam. One more shipping log to go, and we'll have an accurate picture of their mechanized capabilities in the region. I'll find it. But as long we, as you find a way to get around sir. it like I did, I then you, you should be fine. Well, Captain, the only two people in this building who could authorize that launch without approval are you and I. I know I did not do it, so if it wasn't a malfunction... I want you to run every test again. Then run whatever test the captain commands until you find out what the hell happened with my missile. <laughs> yes, sir. Get out of my sight. That seals it. The missile came from here, but they didn't launch it intentionally. So that's a good thing. We can avoid a war. Problem is that someone launched the missile intentionally. Isn't that someone Doug Shetland using Sir Casey's algorithms? That seems likely, but I still need to see if there's a Dvorak fingerprint on the BIOS of the launcher that fired the missile. All right, so we're going to repeat our steps here. We're going to uh, hit this panel here to go down in the elevator and go back down through the vent. And then we're going to head to the other side. Uh, there are two sides to this back level here. It's not a very big mission, but you've got to go kind of back and forth between each section. So it takes a little bit of time to get back and forth. And again, the, the biggest thing that I can tell you is save, save, save. Don't try to be like me and go long periods of time without saving. It'll just add to a lot of frustration when enemies um, are not always doing what you think they're going to do. So here, for me, the guard was going in the other direction, but he might not be going in the other direction for you. It just depends on the time you come over here. So. These are actual cameras that you need to take out. Now you need to be careful here as sometimes this guy will be looking in this direction and he can see you. So that's why we waited just for a split second. And then we're gonna move on to the first big missile. There are no guards in this area right here, not until you get down here and then you look outside. Now, as far as outside goes, um, the first thing you need to go, do is go down into the mission control room that's underneath the missile. They, one guard is going to be doing exactly the same thing over and over, and that is he's going to be working on the panel you need to get to. There's going to be another one of uh, Redding's uh, missions that you need to do here, or uh, one of his little side objectives, I think it was. Um, so a good thing for you to do would be to save just about right here, because you never know what's going to be happening in this room. It just so happens that when we came through here, the guy was going in the other direction, so we can easily get up behind here and grab the secondary objective. Good job, Sam. From the parts and transport requests, Whistle here. it looks like this facility is significantly more important than our latest estimates. Well, you know me. I was where the action is. So the reason I whistled, and uh, I've decided that to use the whistle is, is pretty much you have to, because the guy never leaves the, his workstation. The one who is sitting right there where I'm at right now, he never leaves. No matter how All long right. you wait, no that matter what you do. Casing. You can access the motherboard on the launcher itself and recover any routing data from the BIOS. So therefore, using that distraction actually gets him up and uh, nuns the wiser. So for those types of distractions, it's okay for us to use them. I'm, I'm allowing myself to do it because otherwise he'll just stay there and we'd have to knock him out. And since we're doing a no knockout run through of this entire game, even though you can't do it technically, but for every mission that you can, uh, we're, we're being careful. As you can see, we almost got caught here because he decided to turn around. He had stepped up on this thing. Obviously, it was an animation glitch or whatever. Uh, so we don't want to take any chances, so we went ahead and just went back to here. So wait until he moves. He's going to do two different things. Either he's going to go to the right, like he's doing now, or he's going to go behind him into the right. Either way, you should have enough time, and you should be okay to go up here to this computer, and do what you gotta do. Good work, Sam. I'm scanning the BIOS now. Yeah, that's a Dvorak fingerprint. 
Where did it come from? The Kaido? The displaced offices? Seoul. What? As in South Korea? Are you telling me the U.S. just got drawn into a war protecting the people that sank the Walsh? I can't trace it back farther than Seoul. Well, what do I do? Sweet Jesus, Fisher. The NKA just committed. They're coming across the DMZ. We're at war. Why? We just found proof they didn't launch the missile. Good Lord, speaking of missile launches, that battery just lit up like a smoker getting off an airplane. They're not targeting our ships, are they? Active radar is up. It looks like a launch is imminent. Fisher, you need to abort that missile. You got it, boss. You saw what I just I did there. Thinking, you can sir. do it. Don't be afraid. They're just going to throw protocol to the wind and leave the warhead case unlocked. Even detonating them won't destroy the battery. No, but it will make an awful big mess. So uh, as long as he's sitting in that sitting position at the actual missile, then you'll be able to go right up to it and do what you got to do, as long as you follow the path that I do. Wait till this guy goes around you, and then we're going to head over to the other side. This is where we started after we climbed that long pipe. And now we're going to go to the right side. A lot of uh, the things that you hear now are going to be pretty much scripted as far as what you're going to hear. So we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side to this camera. is because we need to do this one as well, just like we did the other missile. Uh, there's a guy coming over. Sometimes he won't be doing that. It just depends on where he is. It'll always, it'll be different every single time. So don't ever expect any of these guards to always be in the same place that you see them for me, okay? I just want to make Good work, that Mr. clear. I'm uploading the arming sequence codes for Grim. Lambert, if worse comes to worst, and I'm still here. You don't even need to say it, Sam. So this is the this was the trickiest part because this guard would sometimes just not move. Uh, he is scripted and he is programmed to move, but sometimes that script would not work. It's an old game; it happens when it's running on new hardware. Black hell! You're too late. The warhead won't arm until it's a few hundred meters from its target. If I can dig up the abort codes. Good thinking. Check launch control directly under the platform. I'm on my way. That's Make exactly what you sure. want to happen. Flight time on that missile is three minutes. Good work, Sam. Those are the abort codes. I still need to bypass the override circuit from the missile control room. Hurry. The missile is closing on the USS Ronald Reagan at top speed. Uh, hold on. Did you just tell me I need to win one for the Gipper? Uh, dude, what does that even mean? Uh, never mind. You're right, Grim. I am old. So... All I can tell you is watch the live stream to see that this took an hour to do. Right here. What you're seeing right here took an hour to, to get the right one. Because RNG, this guy sometimes will take way too long right here. Other times he'll take too long sitting down at the other location. And you never know which one you're going to get. So you just got to be patient. Uh, what makes it hard is because you have a, a, a time limit. And in that time limit, it makes it super, super tough to do what you got to do. So as you can see, if he doesn't move in a certain amount of time, you're going to have to do different things, as you can see. If he doesn't, for me, if he doesn't move by 2 minutes and 31 seconds for what I was doing, we figured out that that was when we needed to go ahead and make our own plan and move. Because if you didn't, then it just created uh, a, a completely different thing that just didn't end up, um, you know, being correct. But hopefully everything will end up being correct for you and you'll be able to figure out how to do it. I think once you've done it a few times, it, it'll get under your belt and then you'll realize that, okay, you can figure it out. Okay. Same thing here. We're going to take out the camera. Sometimes the camera won't see you if you go right directly underneath it, but you don't want to take out, you don't want to take that chance. And I don't think Sam would. Now, your biggest thing is you want to try to be here with at least a minute and 50 seconds left around. And you want to wait there, make sure that that guy is not looking in any direction before you open that door. Because if you go through the door and he's looking, it's, it, it screws everything up. Now, this guy can also screw things up because sometimes he takes a very, very long time. One time I went through this and he never left. He stood right there the entire time for like a minute and 40 seconds. And he just would not leave, which means we couldn't get to the objective. Because if he is there, we can't get to it. So you have to just hope that the game is cooper cooperating with you uh, well enough so that he eventually stands back up, stops what, he's, what he is doing, and then he turns around. 
That's the only way you're going to be able to do this. Now, there was one time that I did it. It was like it, uh, I, I still had like a minute and 50 seconds on it. So it's just, you just never know what you're going to get. You never know what is going to happen. You got to think on your feet. Good job, Sam. Missile aborted. That's it? It's dust? No, but the warhead can't arm. Even if it gets past the Reagan's phalanx, it'll hit the hull and crumple like a beer can. Crumpling beer cans? That's what sailors are best at, I guess. Very funny. You need to make your way to extraction. Right. I'm on my way. Now, this guy is going to be in different locations. Sometimes he's going to be all the way down at the other end. Other times he's going to be down here. I mean, you just... Because of the checkpoint and everything like that. Uh, now, if you can get it on a first run, maybe it'll always be the same, but it's very difficult to get any of these missions here on a first run because of just the way that this game is, is structured. But that's going to be it. I mean, we've, we've, we've done it. We've reached past everything. Make sure no guards are out here looking. You're good to go. Right here is the exit. The sun to victory. But I just can't... I can't tell you how stressful that was, but I can show you. Make sure you check out the live stream if you want to see just how brutal it was to get through just the last two minutes of the level. That's how crazy it is. But let's check out our statistics and see how we did. 16, 59, 100% stealth, zeros down the board. That's exactly what we wanted. Thank you again, everyone, for putting up with me on the live stream. It was very frustrating because of the RNG, but we were able to do it. So love you all and take care of yourself.